Good morning, Joe. Um, how, how big a game is it not only for you, but also for Manchester City and also putting a stamp on this group and getting this first win? Um, it's obviously a big game for us. Disappointing start with the loss out in Munich, but you know, we're fully aware that it's the Champions League and, and you know, it's, um, it's luckily it's like knockout phases straight away. Um, and we need to build on this, especially at home. Rome's going to be a tough game, but you know, we're going in fully intending to win the game like we do and all. Joe, have you been following um, Roma's progress in, in Italy? They've got five wins out of five in Syria. I mean, it's um, going to be a pretty, pretty tough game. Yeah, they've been doing very well. Um, obviously, we've focused a lot more on them since uh, since they've been joining our group. Uh, you know, obviously, they got a great result match day one as well. So, you know, we're, we're well aware um, over the you know over the last four years, every single game's been tough for us in this Champions League. But you know, we're more than up for it, and we're more than capable of winning. Joe, is it a frustration you went into this game having lost in Munich because your performance is probably one of your better ones for quite a long time? So you could have got a point of that game and you lost in the end. Yeah, that's football. It would have been nice. We uh, we fought hard that night in Munich against you know one of the stronger teams in Europe. Uh, we could have come away with a point. We could have come away with a win. We had a few chances, but you know it wasn't meant to be. Deflected shot last minute. That's football. Um, but like I say, it's a group phases, and we need to we need to capitalise at home now against Roma. Joe. Can you talk about the, the pressure you feel going into a Champions League like this so early in the round and of such significance? And also a word on uh, coming up against Ashley Cole, your old international colleague. That's pretty much standard with the Champions League. Um, like I say, we've, we've always had pretty, pretty tough groups in our, in our very brief Champions League history. So um, the, the big nights, I think we all understand that the home games are, you know, you've got to... You've got to do well at home, and, and we're no different to anyone else. So it, it's going to be a tough game, and it's going to be great to see Ash. Um, you know, brave to make the move out to Rome. Obviously, had a great career at Arsenal and Chelsea, and you know, it'll be nice to catch up with him and see how things are going out there. Joe, um, there was a late, obviously, a late goal against Bayern Munich that followed late goals against Barcelona and Real Madrid in previous seasons. Does it does it sort of underline how concentration is so important in, at these games because the margins are so narrow, aren't they? You have to play right to the end. Yeah, of course. You know. You, you spawn with those comments because you know those have cost us the games in a in some in some big games. But it's also shown that we you know we're, we're definitely there. We're definitely up there with the we can play with the big boys. We just you know we just need to finish the job off. And like I say, uh, tomorrow night's going to be a big job for us. 95 minutes, and you know we're, we're more than up for it. Uh, it's effectively for both of you, I suppose. The manager uh, is back on the touchline for this game. What difference does it make to you as a player? When he can be, and, and also Manuel, what difference does it make for you being able to be back on the touchline again? It's obviously a, a lot more familiar for us. You know, we, this is our manager, this person that leads us, so it's a lot better having him on the sideline rather than in the stands. But unfortunately, that was, you know, whatever the ruling is. But you know, we'll be a stronger team with him on the on the touchline than we will with him in the stands. Yes, I think it's also it's always important to be a Dutch line. I don't think that we lost the game against Bayern Munich because I was not in the Dutch line. But I think it's important to be to be near from the players, to can to talk with all of them during the half time. So I hope that tomorrow we we all together, manager and player, we can do a very good game to to starting adding points here at home. Well, um, how much pressure uh, has your defeat in Munich, uh, coupled with Roma's win in Moscow, put on you to win this game? Because, uh, as you know, you have to win all your home games. Is, is there more pressure on you, given those two results? No, I don't think so. I think that's not more pressure, because uh, remember that last year we started here against Bayern Munich at home and we lost that game. Maybe that is more pressure, because you already lost three games at home. I think that uh, we, were, we are very near to to draw against Bayern Munich, but it was not a failure. That was a good, very good uh, shot with a deflection in the, after the shoot. So we couldn't add what point. But if we suppose that we draw against Bayern Munich, I think we have the same pressure to win tomorrow Rome. So we start here at home. Last year we lost the first game and we won the other five games. So we hope that tomorrow if we play in the real way we are playing. And I am very happy because I think that we are again on a scoring team. Uh, I think that we are going, it will be a very tough game, but we can win it here. Joe, um, with Willie here now, you face maybe stronger competition than you have done in recent seasons. Do you think that's going to bring out the best, best in you? 
We've always had good goalkeepers here since I've been here. You know, right back to you know David James, Weaves, Isaacson, you know Casper, Shea Given, Pantili, Monster. You know, we, we, there's always been good goalkeepers here, uh, and it's always been a fight for me to keep my place. And you know that will continue. But I, I've got high standards <coughs> that I that I like to keep to. You know, whether I'm the only goalkeeper or whether I'm one of you know 20. Um, Excites me the challenge. I love challenging for my place, and uh, and I love playing, and that will never change. And you know, I'll continue fighting. Joe, um, Joe, hi. Uh, that's okay. Um, many of Manchester City's big players have recently signed new contracts. Do you expect to join them soon? And Manuel, would you like him to? Uh, well, I know that um, me and Joe know about what happened with that uh, with that issue. I think it's important, but we know how to manage. So I don't think it's the most important thing in this moment. We are all thinking about uh, Rome, about to continue winning points in the Premier League and to be involved in both competitions. Uh, Manuel, uh, what is the, the the moment right now for the team? Uh, they have uh, achieved very important things in in. Uh, in the Premiership and, and in England, what do you think is? Uh, how do you see the team? The sensations that you have uh, heading for for the Champions League this uh, this year? Well, very good sensations because I think that we are we are playing well. Maybe at the beginning of the season we didn't score so many goals here at home, especially against Chelsea and against Stoke, two games in a row that we didn't that we did, we just score one goal. But after that, I think that the team uh, returned to a normal performance. They, we started also the Premier League in a good way, especially because we we didn't we couldn't work with the whole squad in the same way. Some players arrived very late before the the start of the season. But I think that in this moment, I, I trust a lot in the, in, the, in the team because I, I feel that we are a very good moment. Joe, you, Joe, over. You've been rested for the last two games. From your point of view, is it, what are the positives of being rested and pulled out of the team? What are the negatives? And would you prefer to play every game, or can you see the advantages of playing some games and being rested for others? Of course, I want to play every game. You know, that's, that's my uh, that's my nature. That's my professionalism. I always want to play, but you know, I'm not the manager. I'm just a player, and uh, I live I live by the decisions of our manager. Uh, I think he knows that I'd love to play, but you know, like I say, he has to make decisions. Um, it's hard. It's hard for me to see it that way. I'm sure when uh, when I retire from football in many years to come, I'll see him. But right now, I'm I'm not going to see positives. For him. Is it fair to assume the fact that you're sat here, Joe, that you're going to be in goal tomorrow night? And could you tell us uh, who's injured and who's avail available apart from the goalkeeping situation tomorrow? Well, about the goalkeeper situation, it's not a different situation than the other ten position of the other squad. Tomorrow we'll see the start of eleven, but uh, as I, all I said exactly the same when about the contract of Joe had. Joe and me, we know who will play tomorrow, so I don't have any problem about that. And about injuries, we continue injury with Fernando. Esteban Jovati is in the squad list, so he's ready for for tomorrow. And Sami Nasri that has a surgery yesterday. Uh, in London, he will be up for around one month out. All the other, all the other players are fit. Uh, good morning, Mr. Pellegrini, Gazzetta dello Sport Italy. Um, can I ask you your opinion about uh, AS Roma and uh, your opinion about uh, Rudy Garcia? <coughs> well, I think about uh, AS Rome, it's a, it's a very good team, not only because he's in a very good moment, but he just played the five games in the in their competition, they won the five games. I think that uh, last year was also a very good team, and I think that that involved his manager uh, Garcia because he maybe uh, at the beginning he was his first year there in Rome, and maybe nobody was absolutely sure how, what he can do. But uh, I remember that he started also the season very well, winning all the games, and finally he qualified his team for. For Champions League, so I think he's a very good manager, and and he managed a very good team with very technical and fast players. Joe, um, there, there's been a few English players now moving abroad. Obviously, there's there's Mick, uh, Ashley Cole, and um, Frank is going is to be going to the MLS. Um, in, the, in not talking in the, in the near future, but at some stage in your career, is it something you fancy doing? Trying playing in in, in another league abroad. 
Got a lot of respect for the boys who've done it. Um, and obviously, Micah being closest to home for me, uh, he seems to be loving it out there, which is great for him. But um, right now, I'm happy in, you know, with what's going on at this club. Um, you know, we're fighting on, on all fronts in, in, in all competitions that we turn up to. So, you know, whilst I'm welcome here, I, I'm more than happy to stay here and, uh, you know, see where that takes me.